Hi everyone. Today I'll talk about the National Register of Citizens going on in Assam. But to understand NRC, we first need to know a little background of the Assam movement and the Assam Accord. National Register of Citizens is also called NRC. So in this video, if you find uh, me using the word NRC, that means National Register of Citizens. What is the Assam movement? Assam movement was a popular movement against illegal immigrants in Assam. So between 1948 and 1971, there were large scale migrations from Bangladesh, that is then Pakistan, to Assam. So many people migrated from the then Pakistan to Assam. By 1950, around 2.5 lakh immigrants uh, reached Assam and Given this continue, uh, continuing influx of illegal immigrants from Bangladesh into Assam, student leaders in 1971, they came out and protested demanding detention and uh, deportation of uh, illegal immigrants from Assam. So there were a lot of protests. So here you can see in this image, uh, people, especially students protesting. And this Assam movement finally compelled the Indian government to identify and expel illegal mostly that is Bangladeshi immigrants uh, from India so finally government reacted so this is to give the Assamese people and to protect them constitutionally legislatively and administratively uh, that is to safeguard these uh, indigenous Assamese people so finally the government reacted and uh, the unrest ended officially on 15th August 1985 so in 1985 this unrest ended, student protests ended and finally Assam Accord was signed. It was signed between the leaders of uh, AASU and AAGSP and the government of uh, India. So finally Assam Accord was signed. So what is this Assam Accord? So how is it making a difference to Assamese people? The Assam Accord contained a provision that all foreigners who come to Assam after uh, March 25, 1971 should be detected and deported under the Illegal Migration Determination by Tribunals that is IMDT Act 1983. So the government said, okay, we'll find who these illegal uh, migrants are and we'll deport them back to their country. So this is what uh, the government mentioned in the Assam Accord also. So finally, to make this a reality, government amended the Citizenship Act. Uh, the Citizenship Act actually, uh, the Citizenship Act of 1955, it tells who a citizen is and who is not. So the parliament can amend this act from time to time and decide the criteria for getting Indian citizenship. I made a video on the citizenship part in the Indian constitution. So you can find the link uh, to that video in the description below. So coming back, uh, the Citizenship Act of 1955 was amended after uh, Assam Accord. So the government decided that uh, for all Indian origin people who came uh, from Bangladesh before January 1, 1966 will be considered as Indian citizens. So people who came before nine, uh, January 1, 1966 will be considered as Indian citizens. Okay. And also those who came between January 1, 1966 and March 25, 1971 were also eligible for citizenship after registering and living in India for 10 years. Okay, this is also okay, fine. And now the third part is for any person entering India after March 25, 1971 will be deported and will not be considered an Indian citizen. Okay, so here no citizenship will be given to them. But to check who entered India, when and whether they were really from uh, Indian origin or not, so there should be an official count for this, right? So this duty of preparing a record of uh, Indian citizens was given to the National Register of Citizens. So NRC now came into picture. Uh, though, the, uh, though the register was uh, first prepared after 1951 census of India, it has not been update, updated uh, after 1951. So after 1951, uh, NRC was not updated at all. So after the Assam Accord, after uh, the Accord was signed finally, even then the NRC was not updated properly because it failed to identify who the illegal immigrants are and 
uh, after this assam accord was signed literally nothing happened that means no uh, the snrc was not updated so uh, even the government was uh, finding it hard to uh, find who was an illegal uh, immigrant and who is not so finally in 2014 because the nrc was not updated so the supreme court interfered and it asked the state government that means the uh, indian government to update the 1951 nrc in a time bound manner so it said you have to update the nrc list as soon as possible so the uh, the court did not uh, leave it to the government the court took on the responsibility of monitoring the process so the court said okay we will monitor it so you start uh, preparing the nrc list so now this is all about the background of nrc now people might be confused between nrc and census so there's a lot of difference between the two the census is conducted every 10 years okay uh, that too it is conducted at a national level and uh, this gives this is actually to give a view of, and view of uh, the size and nature of the indian population so that is the main motive of the census but on the other hand if you see nrc it is a one time process that means it is to prepare a one time list of who the citizens are and who is not so this is not conducted nation nationwide it is conducted only in assam as of now it is only in assam so the main objective of nrc is to prove citizenship of people of assam and to deport illegal immigrants so this is the major difference between census and uh, nrc so do not get confused between these two now coming to the advantages of nrc uh, there are advantages and disadvantages also the main advantages of uh, nrc is that uh, the porous border between india and bangladesh is creating problems for border ma- management especially so over the years many bangladeshi immigrants they started entering india illegally and this is affecting the livelihood of the local people who are close to the border so proper nrc will actually stop illegal immigrants from bangladesh so it will stop illegal immigrants from bangladesh this is the first advantage and it will also work as a deterrent tool it is expected to deter future immigra- fu- future migrants from bangladesh from entering assam illegally as the publication of draft nrc itself had created a view that staying in assam without valid documents will lead to detention and jail so people of bangladesh especially people who are illegally migrating to india uh, they'll have some fear that uh, if they go without any valid documents they they can be jailed so now coming to the problems of nrc the first problem is fear of exclusion some citizens of india Uh, might not have old documentation to prove that they are uh, indian citizens so they cannot prove their citizenship so this does not mean that they are not uh, indian citizens so we still do not know how the government will tackle such cases and how it will uh, include them in the nrc list so also there is fear amongst muslims that uh, the government might use this as a tool to send them back to bangladesh and so and the other major problem is issue of statelessness this is a very very major problem compared to the fear of exclusion if the nrc finally comes out with a list of illegal immigrants we do not know if bangladesh will accept them as their citizens because if they are not citizens of india so they they must be citizens of bangladesh because they came from bangladesh so if if bangladesh does not accept them then they will be stateless so they cannot go anywhere even uh, if you see the example of rohingyas so myanmar uh, sent them saying that they are not uh, citizens of myanmar so th- these uh, migrants poor migrants they did not know where to go many of them were uh, dead so this is one major reason and it is on uh, humanitarian grounds that we should look at uh, these people also so let us see how the government will tackle these uh, issues So that is all about uh, NRC. If you found the video useful, please do like the video and please do subscribe to the channel. Even the Facebook and Twitter links are given here, so you can please follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter also. Thank you.